welcome my lovelies yeah i just want to talk to you about my therapy session yesterday i didn't feel like talking about it straight after i felt like just digesting it and like making sense of it so i can tell you guys because one i can just show you that maybe we're going through similar things and two i also think that by listening to other people's insight it can help me gain awareness about myself so maybe whatever I say can help you gain awareness about yourself, if you get what I mean. So that's why I thought I would have a chat with you about it. So yeah, also how cute are these jeans? Let's stay on topic. So my therapy session yesterday was so enlight enlightening. And when I was in the slump, as it's being called, I call it shutdown. That is when my nervous system goes into shutdown and shutdown to me looks like a familiar place to just cope with, with whatever has triggered me to get into this space. And I noticed that for about a week, I was so low energy. Like I didn't want to get out of bed. I didn't have any, any energy to do anything. And I let myself be in that space as well. So for a week I was like, okay, this is it. Like I'm just gonna deal with it. And then after the week went by, I was like, no, nah, I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna let, let it be like this because I, you know, I've got things to do. <laughs> I can't just not do anything. I only do the essential things. I go to work and stuff like that. I was reflecting about why when I'm in shutdown, I go to one, eat bad foods. Bad foods to me, to me means purely processed foods, foods I'm not cooking. And two, why am I overeating? And three, why is there such a narration of um, around my body, around my physique? Because then like the chatter in my mind turns to how I should look, how my physique should be, how I should be exercising. Like it becomes really self out exterior focus. And then in therapy, I had a chat about it. And the realization that I came to is that because of the environment that I was raised in as a child, I had taught myself to cope and one of the ways was when I was in shutdown I would control the one thing I had control over which was my physical appearance my the control I tried to keep around what I eat which is why when I was 16 I started my first diet which looking back is such an unhealthy practice to do when you're 16 you know so it was just figuring out how the patterns and behaviors I was engaging in while I was in shutdown was essentially giving me a lot of information about what my still familiar pattern is of what I do when I'm overwhelmed, when my nervous system is overwhelmed and goes into shutdown. So that was just information. But what it also tied into was that it didn't feel the same. It wasn't the same shutdown that I had when I was 16, 17, 18. It felt different. And to me, the way I interpreted it was it was different because there's the current adult me that knows I'm safe, I am whole, I am okay, I'm, I'm perfect the way I am. I don't need to be controlling myself or my physique all the time. And also around the things that got me triggered. And the conflict was arising because my current self knows that the things that are triggering me into shutdown right now, that's a lot of family stress, that's a lot of people being really negative and venting to me and using me to self-soothe and i feel like in my environment i'm really i was really drained in that moment because i felt like everyone was taking energy from me and they were just giving me a lot of negativity and because i don't feel like i'm in a space where i'm really good at like just cutting it off and just being focused on me i really still take in a lot of that and i still like um take on the energy of other people so it's really hard for me and so the realization basically i hope this makes sense was that my current self knows that I am capable and worthy of putting boundaries in place. My current self knows that I don't need to accept other people treating me a certain way. But my familiar self, the past self that has learned to cope, has a different idea of my self-worth. She believes, I'm gonna like, give her a funky name, um, she believes that I am I'm not worthy I need to accept whatever is happening because it's what has happened in the past. We know this and it's it's, um, it's familiar to us. So this needs to stay the, stay the same. And I should protect my peace more diligently. Me and my therapist had a long talk about self-worth 
and what it means to me and how my external reality right now is reflecting back to me what I believe I'm worthy of which is a lot to take in because in that moment I'm like it's everything just a reflection of how I feel about myself um, and then I went into that I went into the feeling and I also looked I was like, no, I'm, I'm not gonna accept the bare minimum. I'm not gonna accept negative energy. I'm here to live my life on my terms. I'm building and creating and living this positive, um, beautiful life, essentially. Like, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to not repeat the past. I'm not trying to have my mom's life. I'm not trying to have my dad's life. I'm not trying to have the lives that people have had around me. I'm trying to have a really different life. I'm trying to be a positive, happy person in whatever circumstance I'm in. And that does, that means I can't have people coming into me, draining my energy, giving me bad energy. Yeah, I just can't have it. So that was what therapy was, was for me to yesterday. And what that means to me now is just being diligent and committed to my self-care practice in the sense that I want to journal more and make sure I only accept the things I know I'm worthy of, you know? Also like doing my affirmations, telling myself, hey, I am worthy of whatever I want and whatever I set my mind to. And I don't have to take, um, I don't have to be okay with crumbs. So yeah, that was, that was therapy for me. <laughs> Still trying to figure out what kind of YouTube videos I want to be making. I think everything right now is such a trial and error. And um, on the one hand, I want to do really aesthetic videos, but then on the other hand, I also want to chat to you and like, just connect so I don't know I I still have to figure out where I want to go with this and and what you what you guys enjoy watching as well like I'd love to know feedback let me know what you enjoy watching and what you don't enjoy watching as much um so I can also tailor that into it but yeah so let's get about it